guys, um, I'm Lauren. This is my introduction video and come with me and get to know me while I show you guys how to perfect my favorite natural but very dewy makeup look um, that I do with some of my favorite Mecca products, which I'll also be going through. Bye, I hope you enjoyed the video. So the first thing I like to do is use my primer. So it's this one over here. I'll um, so I actually work at Mecca. I've been working there for about, I'd say, nine months now. Um, so I'm just like obsessed with makeup. I never used to be into makeup at all. Like I would do maybe concealer and like my eyelashes and then that was it. I had no idea about foundation or anything like that until I started working there. Um, so it's just been such a crazy adventure but I hope I can help everyone out with like some makeup tips I guess. Makeup can just help you accentuate your features and make you feel more beautiful and give you more confidence which I think is so important. Sorry I just adjusted the camera um, so that's why the angle has changed. Um, so yeah then you've primed. The next thing I like to do is go on go in with my foundation. This one's a super light coverage one. It's the Ilia True Skin serum foundation it's very very light coverage so it's perfect for like an everyday dewy look i like to just pop it on the back of my hand i'll do about like two to three pumps depending on how much i want to put on my face also i have a mirror over there so if i do look over there that's what i'm looking at so i just go in with a sponge and just pop it all over my face as you can see it's super super light in terms of coverage also the color this is my winter color but i find that when i go in with like my blush or whatever you can't really tell that it is a bit light for my skin i guess i always wanted to have a youtube channel when i was younger i did have one um it was really just for fun though i think i got like 14 or 15 followers um but i was like 11 or 12 just making it with the help of my sister um but i kind of was too young to really be able to do anything i properly was interested in so i just gave up um but to be honest i wish i didn't give up because if i didn't can't imagine like how many memories i would be able to look back on at this age now from that channel but you know you live and you learn. So, okay, foundation is done. I put on like a pretty even layer. Now the next thing I like to go in with is my concealer. I have the Kosas concealer and I just like to do like a few dots, kind of depends on how tired I am and how many eye bags I have. Then I also like to do like a few dots on my forehead and then on my chin and then like spot on any acne I can see. Or like any blemishes just anything like that and then i like to let that sit i'll go in and spray with my setting spray <laughs> i have the morphe one um the continuous setting spray this one's really good for the price but if you want to spend just a little bit more and get like an amazing product try the charlotte tilbury setting spray it is amazing i can't even explain how many friends i've turned onto the product it's absolutely amazing my eyebrows are naturally pretty thick so i don't particularly have to go in with like any product or anything but i like to go in with my brow soap i just have the mecca max one so it comes like oh, it's kind of dirty <laughs> but it comes like this and you can run it under water i just use a spray and spray it with water and then I will just grab my little brush for your eyebrows, dip it in there, and then just run it through my brows. Um, so now that the concealer is set, I'll just go in and blend it. You know, some people say not to bring it right up, but I like to because I find that I get really dark, like right up there in the front. Even I like to take the product on the sponge and carry it to the top of my lids because when I'm tired, my darkness is just insane. So that's my face face done. The next thing I like to go in with is my Westman Atelier, Westman Atelier 
cheek sticks or this is blush cream blush and this is in the shade petal and I just put it up and just blend it up into my cheekbones um so you get like that woof sculpt sculpture but so there's some more facts about me let's say you you don't know who I am at all my name is Lauren if you don't know already which I hope that you do um so I'm 19 at the moment I turn 20 in June. I'm a Gemini. Um, probably the worst sign. I love my star sign, but we just get a bad rep. So now I'm going to go in with my contour. Um, I just take like a little brush. I just like to contour my nose um, for a natural look. So I study digital marketing. Um, I enjoy it i love advertising and creating like digital content as you, as you can see I, I do love and enjoy making content um but um i kind of don't like to learn about it but go yeah. do is is i'm gonna try and curl my lashes this is the it's really dingy and dirty i think i've had this for like two years now but this is the Kevin Aquan eyelash color. It's really, really nice. I love it. And then I have the Ilia <laughs> Mascara. I'm not the biggest fan of this. I got the mini to try it out and I'm not gonna be purchasing the big one. <laughs> no, this looks like a really creepy process. One, it doesn't hurt. And two, I really think it's such a small thing and it makes the biggest difference um, just to curl your lashes before mascara. The next thing I'm going in is with my highlighter. I'm gonna spray my face one more time with my setting spray just to really get the highlighter popping. I use the Mecca Cosmetica highlighter. I think this is such an underrated product. It looks so like nice. <laughs> that's, that's the best way I can put it. It's so shiny. Like let me just let it talk for itself. So I like to go on the nose. Look at that, so shiny. And then I go on the bridge of the nose too. I like to go in my inner corners as well to really brighten up the eyes. And above the eyebrow, I'll just stroke it across the lid as well, just to again accentuate that eye area. And then the lip and sweep it on my cheeks. Well, not cheeks, but cheekbone area. The last thing we want to do is lips. I don't really take the slight foundation that I have on my lips off. I could, but most of the time I'm just not bothered, so I just layer on. Plus, I feel like you get a better pigment if you just put it on like clear rather than the natural pink of your lip, if that makes sense. Also, I normally would lip line, but I'm practicing a life of minim minimalism. I will talk about that later because it's just too much. <laughs> But yeah, minimalism, I only have one lip liner and it's brown and I'm not bothered to smudge it out with my finger so much that it looks really nice. And then I have my Hourglass Lip Gloss. This is amazing. It's so hydrating. When I put it on, I don't even need to use lip balm. It's so nice and flattering. This is my finalized makeup look. I hope you can see. I might just lift the camera up. So look, it's so nice, super highlighted, super dewy. Yeah, I love this look, it's super, super dewy. Um, I just love the power that makeup holds, but I really just wanna post content that I myself would watch or I myself am passionate about. So I love to document my journey of life, like coming into 2023, 2023, that's crazy to say. But yeah, there's just so many things that I've wanted to start doing like, for example, surfing. I'd love to surf. So but yeah, there's just so many things I would love to do or I'm passionate about. Um, so this is really just my journey, but also my journey of life. Um, so thank you for joining me. I really hope um, that you either learned something or was entertained. And I really hope to see you guys in my next video. It would mean so much to me. So bye-bye. Have a good day or night. <laughs>